After reviewing the investigation conducted by the North Carolina State Bureau of Investigation, Mr. Brown's death, while tragic, was justified because Mr. Brown's actions caused three deputies with the Pasquotank County Sheriff's Office to reasonably believe it was necessary to use deadly force to protect themselves and others. Mr. Brown's conduct did not merely risk injuring officers by the time of the shooting. Brown had made two aggressive driving moves which caused his vehicle to contact Deputy Lunsford on both occasions. When the officers approached Brown with their guns drawn, his response was to maneuver his car and flee. Brown was undeterred by the officers yelling for him to stop, show me your hands, or by Deputy Lunsford attempting to open the driver's door. Even after backing into a corner with no escape, but to maneuver his vehicle directly at the officers, Brown continued the felonious assault by using his vehicle as a deadly weapon and made contact a second time with Deputy Lunsford. Law, law enforcement officers, particularly Deputy Lunsford, were on foot and directly in the path of the vehicle being operated by Brown. Lieutenant Judd was located on the corner of Roanoke Avenue and Perry in a white unmarked Crown Victoria, and Dare County officers Sergeant Ruth and Investigator Johnson were operating unmarked vehicles in the area to assist. All of these officers were potentially at risk from Brown's operation of the vehicle. Brown threatened the life and safety of the officers on the scene and any possible civilian bystanders given a reasonable officer a compelling reason to end the encounter. The law does not require officers in a tense and dangerous situation to wait until the moment a suspect uses a deadly weapon to act to stop the suspect. 